Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. The Boise State Broncos land their best commit they've ever landed in program history in four-star wide receiver Gatlin Bear from the state of Idaho. I'm sure many Boise State fans are familiar with Gatlin Bear. This is the fastest player in this 2024 class. Quite frankly, one of the fastest players we've seen coming out of the high school ranks and a true difference maker on the offensive side of the ball. Now, many of you guys know I'm a Michigan fan. It came down to Boise State, Michigan. Boise State really selling the hometown hero side of things to Gatlin Bear. And I'll say this, like as a Michigan fan following this recruitment, it sucks to lose out on Gatlin Bear. A, a, I mean, truly one of the best receivers in this 2024 class, but I'd be lying if I wasn't just a little bit excited to see a hometown kid staying home in the state of Idaho, playing for Boise State on the blue turf. It's as a, I'm a Michigan fan, but I'm a college football fan. This is a really cool storyline. Going to dive into Gatlin Bear, what he means for this Boise State uh, program. Before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys. And I bet we got a lot of new listeners, Boise State fans. Not a program that we get a ton of time to talk about, but a program that, I mean, is set up to really make some noise in 2023. Have done my deep dive into them, Taylor Green, George Halani. This is an offense that could be really exciting in the next couple of years. It's going to get even more exciting adding Gatlin Bears. So those who are checking us out, appreciate y'all rocking with the boys. And if you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a feeling this is not going to be the last time we're caught in Gatlin Bear and the Boise State Broncos because this program is heading in the right direction. Now let's dive into Gatlin Bear. 6'2", 195 pounds, the track times, the speed that he brings to the field. That's what's most impressive. A 10 one meter dash. I and mean, this is a, a Olympic level sprinter that brings it to the football field as well. And when you dive into the film, he's more than just a track athlete. A lot of times out of high school, you see these guys who have crazy track times and they're really just vertical guys on the football field and have a tough time translating that speed into actually playing good football. Gallon Bear, not only extremely productive at the high school ranks in the state of Idaho, but a guy that you can see when you turn on the film is more than just a track star. He's got a big frame in 6'2", 190 pounds. Very, very physical to take down as well on top of game-breaking speed. To get into the film and talk a little bit about what Gatlin Bear brings to this program, you're going to see a couple things. One, a more polished route runner than you would see. But what I love the most is the ball skills that he has. Again, the wheels to run by anyone in the country, whether it's the high school level, whether it's the whether it's the college level, but you take a look at the body control, the physicality when he goes up at the catch point, it's just different. And there's a lot of reasons for Boise State to be extremely excited about landing Gatlin Bear. Now, again, watching him, he's a clean route runner too. Not only a speedster, but great separation over the middle of the field. And I'm telling you, he's not just a straight line guy. He's got some shake to him. And when these defensive backs who are able to keep up with him, and if you are able to keep up with him, very hard to bring down an open space, can win in a variety of ways, not just vertically down the field. He's used as a punt returner, as you'd imagine, too. And you see the speed on display, right? Making people miss, really elusive for how big he is. But again, when he gets the edge, you have to be perfect with your angles when trying to tackle a guy like Gatlin Bear. And a lot of times, safeties aren't perfect, and Gatlin Bear hurts him in a big way. Again, working vertically, this is where he will kind of succeed a lot. And this is, I guess I'll pause and say, like, you look at this Boise State team, especially heading into 2023, it's a team that you're going to rely on the run game a lot. You have one of the most dynamic quarterbacks, not only in the Mountain West, not only on the Mount, uh, the, the West Coast, but in the country, Taylor Green, along with two really, really good running backs. One of the better running back rooms, again, not only in the Mountain West, but in the country. When you add, are able to add a guy in Gatlin Bear who just has – different level speed in terms of taking the top off of defense. You're going to see pretty much just double coverage runs right by. And then when it's time to go for the football, Gatlin bear can certainly do that. He's going to bring like another element. And not only will he hurt teams with his playmaking and with how he's so elite with the ball in his hands and his speed to stretch the field vertically, but as a defense trying to deal with a guy like Gatlin Bear on the field, you have to back your safeties up. It's really hard to bring your safeties in and try to stop that run game when you have a dude like Gatlin Bear who is as fast as he is. So he's going to open up the offense in a lot more ways than him just catching the football, which excites me the most. 
And the last thing I'll say as we talk this Boise State program that, again, I don't get a chance to talk enough about is this is a kind of – this is a caliber of recruit. This is a caliber of commitment that can kind of flip the narrative a little bit. We talk about this with some other programs as they continue to build up. When you have a guy like Gatlin Bear, who's a top 50 national ranked dude, had offers from every program in the country, and you get him to stay home at Boise State, that might have some other guys who are top prospects in the West Coast in that Mountain West region say, hey, Gatlin Bear did it. And if Gatlin Bear finds success at Boise State, I mean, maybe I can too. So it's one of those things that, okay, Gatlin Bear just did it. Maybe I can as well. And hopefully, Boise State can kind of couple this into, okay, we got a game-changing guy in Gatlin Bear. And you see the speed on display right there. I mean, legitimately makes everyone else look slow. But also, like, I wonder if you can kind of spark some more recruiting efforts after landing a guy like Gatlin Bear again. This is a Boise State program that I, I'm I'm sad that we're not going to see Gatlin Bear wing, wearing the wing helmet at Michigan. Y'all know I'm a Michigan fan but a really good get for Boise State. And I would be lying a little bit with all the changes that we're seeing around college football with conference realignment. It's really cool to see a kid stay home in state in Idaho and kind of be the, the face of this program, which I think Gatlin bear can be a really good get for the Boise state Broncos. Again, for the new guys who are for the new listeners that we have Boise state fans, appreciate you guys checking the boys out. And if you do enjoy the content, Consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate y'all, and we'll talk to you guys later.